This presentation explains um, 10 things you can do to improve your application. Tips for better quality application. Number one, read the call announcement. For each call, specific conditions may apply. For example, which themes and target groups are targeted. And the announcement may also give information about available funding, especially for non-EU countries. Please make sure you have the most up-to-date information. Number two, find the right fit. Choose the right specific objective for your project idea. Have a look at the description of the priorities in the cooperation program document to understand what challenge in the program area they try to solve and what type of actions are supported. If possible, highlight why your application is specific for the MPA area. Number three, consider the context. Show that you're aware of other projects funded in the same theme as your project idea. Have a look at the MPA map of results for achievements of previous MPA projects. Also consider the situation for your chosen topic in each of the participating countries. Number four, involve stakeholders. The Intrac MPA is not a research program, and for this reason, purely academic partnerships are discouraged. For your project to make a real impact, stakeholders should be involved throughout the project, for example, as partners or associated partners in the development and testing of outputs and in the outreach activities to communities. Have a look at the expectations for project communication in the program manual. Number five, focus on cooperation. It should be clear that your project can only be achieved by working together transnationally. Explain how the project partners complement each other. Have a look at the cooperation criteria in the program manual. Number six, Focus on tangible solutions. Make it clear how the tangible solutions developed by your project will improve the situation for the target groups you have identified. It should be explained what and how many solutions are developed and if they're expected to be taken up by your target groups by the end of the project. Have a look at the expectations for project outputs in the program manual. Number seven. Be green and inclusive. In the project setup, management and implementation, consider how the project's impact on the environment can be reduced, how equality between men and women can be assured and how the project can be made more inclusive and accessible. Projects should strive to involve underrepresented groups such as young people, women and indigenous peoples. Have a look at the horizontal principles in the program manual. Number eight, allocate enough resources. Your project budget should support a good implementation of your project and represent value for money. This means having enough staff resources to do the work outlined, having a budget for promotion, and carefully considering when to use external expertise. Have a look at the eligibility rules in the program manual. Number nine, Keep it short and simple. Enough said. And finally, number 10. Check and double check. Have a look at the checklist for applicants and, the, and regularly use the pre-submission checks in GEMS. If possible, ask someone not involved in the project to proofread your application. Is it easy to understand? Is it logical? Is it concrete? Is it clear who does what? And if anything is unclear, ask for help from the Joint Secretariat or a regional contact point. Thank you very much.